Did you know the same aircraft that airdropped supplies into Antarctic blizzards also hunted Saddam Hussein's forces with 15,000-pound bunker buster bombs? Meet the C-130 Hercules, the world's most successful military airlifter, serving 60-plus nations since 1956. With over 2,300 variants built and counting, this four-engine turboprop has redefined versatility, surviving everything from Arctic ice to desert sandstorms, while maintaining the lowest accident rate of any U.S. military aircraft. Born from America's logistical nightmares during the Korean War, the Hercules solved a critical problem. Earlier transports were too heavy, runway-dependent, or limited in payload. Lockheed's answer, a rugged airframe that could haul 45,000 pounds of cargo, land on dirt strips, and evacuate 74 patients mid-combat, all while flying 1,400 miles non-stop. Its first carrier landing in 1963 stunned observers when an 85,000-pound Hercules stopped on the USS Forrestal like a sports car. Use for the Hercules was recently demonstrated on the deck of the USS Forrestal during a series of tests exploring the feasibility of C-130 carrier operations. The C-130's secret lies in its semi-monocoque fuselage split into flight stations and a cavernous 41-foot cargo bay. With clamshell rear doors and side exits, it delivers paratroopers, vehicles, or palletized supplies via three methods. Parachute extraction, 42,000 pounds, gravity-driven container drops, or low-altitude precision releases. Its Allison turboprops, later upgraded to Rolls-Royce engines in the C-130J, allow takeoffs from 3,000-foot runways, while pressurized cabins let crews breathe easily at 28,000 feet. No aircraft reinvents itself like the Hercules. It's been a gunship, AC-130 Spooky, a hurricane hunter, a wildfire bomber, and even a makeshift bomber dropping 15,000-pound GBU-43 B Moabs during Operation Iraqi Freedom. During the Vietnam War, AC-130 variants fired 20mm cannons at 2,500 rounds per minute. While modern J models deploy cyber warfare pods and laser-guided munitions. From Australia's bushfires to Afghanistan's mountains, the Hercules operates in extremes. Its resupplied Antarctic bases using skis, conducted medevacs under Taliban fire and airdropped relief supplies after tsunamis. Iran still flies 1960s-era C-130ES despite sanctions while the U.S. Coast Guard uses them for maritime patrols. Over 40 variants exist, including weather scouts and aerial refuelers. Each Hercules costs approximately $30 million, a bargain compared to jets, but its true value is durability. Active duty average 600 flight hours yearly, with some airframes exceeding 28 years of service. Structural fatigue, particularly in wing boxes, is managed through rigorous inspections and Service Life Extension Programs, SLEP. Remarkably, even 1970s built E models remain airworthy with upgraded avionics. With a cabin altitude of 5,000 feet at 28,000 feet, crews avoid hypoxia risks. Its 00 ejection seats on AC 130ES and triple redundant hydraulic systems make it a crew favorite. Despite decades of rough landings, the Hercules accident rate is half that of the F 16, a testament to over engineering. The C 130J Super Hercules introduced in 1996 upped the game 20% faster climb, 40% longer range, 2,000 plus miles, and digital glass cockpits. Its six-blade props reduce noise, while automated loadmasters calculate cargo balance in seconds. Yet it retains the original's dirt strip prowess, proven in 2021 delivering COVID vaccines to Papua New Guinea's jungles. As drones dominate headlines, the Hercules endures. Lockheed's proposed LM-10J civilian variant targets cargo markets 
while the EC-130J disrupts enemy comms with electronic warfare. With production ongoing into the 2030s, this airframe could hit 100 years of service, a feat unmatched in aviation history. The C-130 isn't just a plane, it's a lifeline. When earthquakes strike or wars erupt, the Hercules is first in, delivering hope where others can't land. From its 1956 debut to today's battlefield AI integrations, it proves that sometimes the best answer to modern problems is a Cold War icon built like a flying tank and just as unstoppable 